Welcome to my kitchen. Big news. Fortnite is turning RTX on. Today we're announcing a new esports technology called NVIDIA Reflex. NVIDIA Reflex optimizes the rendering pipeline across CPU and GPU to reduce latency by up to 50%. In September, we're releasing Reflex with our Game Ready driver. We're announcing an insanely fast and beautiful display, a 360 Hz G-Sync display designed for esports. This display has a built-in precision latency analyzer. Just connect your mouse. The NVIDIA 360 Hz G-Sync esports displays are arriving this fall from Acer, Alienware, Asus, and MSI. We've made a video comparing gaming on a 60 Hz, 144 Hz, and 360 Hz display. For the 20 million live streamers, we have something really cool for you. NVIDIA Broadcast turns any room into a broadcast studio. Effects like audio noise removal, virtual background effects, whether graphics or video, and webcam auto framing is a virtual camera person tracking you. Available for download in September and runs on any RTX GPU. A new form of art has emerged from gaming called machinima. Artists are using game assets to create cinematics. Today, I'm going to show you an app that will make these cinematics amazing. It's called NVIDIA Omniverse Machinima. It's an app built on our Omniverse 3D workflow collaboration platform. Omniverse is a universal design tool asset exchange with a viewer based on photorealistic path tracing. The engine is designed to be physically accurate, simulating light, physics, material, and artificial intelligence. The Machinima app brings in elements and assets from games and third-party collections like TurboSquid and lets you mix and compose them into a cinematic. NVIDIA Omniverse Machinima, beta in October. Let me show you a demo we created in a few days. We started with assets from Mountain Blade 2, Banner Lord. NVIDIA, seeing the ultimate limits of rasterization approaching, focused intense efforts over the past 10 years to realize real-time ray tracing on a large scale. The RTX GPU has three fundamental processors, the programmable shader that we first introduced over 15 years ago, RT core to accelerate the ray triangle and ray bounding box intersections, and AI processing pipeline called TensorCore. One of the first major AI computer graphics breakthroughs is DLSS. So the solution is to ray trace fewer pixels and use AI on tensor cores to up res, to super res, to a higher resolution and boost frame rate. The DLSS model is trained on extremely high quality, 16K offline rendered images of many kinds of content. Once trained, the model is downloaded into your driver. At runtime, DLSS 2.0 takes in low resolution, alias image and motion vector of the current frame and the high resolution previous frame to generate a high resolution current frame. Take a look at these images of Death Stranding, the latest game by Kojima-san. DLSS is sharper than native 4K and the frame rate is higher. Now you can get ray tracing, get high resolution and high frame rate at the same time. That's the magic of the three processors of RTX. Ladies and gentlemen, Nvidia's new Ampere GPU, our second generation RTX, 28 billion transistors, built on Samsung 8N NVIDIA custom process. All three processors double rates over Turing, a triple double. It connects to Micron's new G6X, the fastest memories ever made. The days of just relying on transistor performance scaling is over. Yet Ampere is an incredible two times the performance and energy efficiency of Turing. Real application performance highlights Ampere's new RT core. The more ray tracing is done, the greater the Ampere speed up. At our Kitchen GTC a few months ago, we showed Marbles, the world's first fully path-traced, photorealistic real-time graphics. It was running on our highest-end Turing Quadro RTX 8000. Turing was doing 720p, 25 frames per second. Today, we're going to run an enhanced version of Marbles with even more special effects, and it is running at 1440p, 30 frames per second over four times the performance. Marbles is entirely path traced. No rasterization, all real time. Today, we're announcing NVIDIA RTX IO with three new advances. 
New I.O. APIs for fast loading and streaming directly from SSD to GPU memory. GPU lossless decompression. And collaboration with Microsoft on direct storage for Windows that streamlines the transfer of data from storage to GPU memory. Let me show you Ampere in action in one of the most anticipated games of 2020. CD Projekt Red Cyberpunk. Ladies and gentlemen, our new flagship GPU, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080, powered by Ampere. It is beautiful. Look at this. It's gonna look beautiful in your PC, and it lights up. Working with Micron, we designed the world's first memories with PAM4 signaling. Pulse amplitude modulation with four voltage levels that encode two bits of data each, 00011011. So in the same period of time, G6X can transmit twice as much data as G6. The Ampere thermal architecture is the first ever flow through design. Our engineers architect a super dense PCB design that is 50% smaller than previous while adding the bigger Ampere GPUs HDMI 2.1, PCI Express 4.0, and G6X. The 3080 flow-through system is three times quieter and keeps the GPU 20 degrees cooler than the Turing design. It can cool 90 watts more than Turing. 3080 is faster than 2080 Ti. 3080 is twice the performance of 2080 at the same price. Ampere is the biggest generational leap we've ever had. Powered by Ampere, our second generation RTX GPU architecture. Incredible amounts of processing in the shader, RT ray tracing core, and tensor core for processing AI. 10 gigabytes of G6X, twice the processing power of 2080, and at the same price, starting at $699. Available September 17th. You're gonna love the new RTX 3070. Faster than the 2080 Ti, the Turing Enthusiast GPU priced at $1,200. Ladies and gentlemen, the new GeForce RTX 3070. 20 shader teraflops, 40 RT teraflops, and 163 teraflops tensor core for AI processing. With eight gigabytes of G6, RTX 3070 is faster than the $1,200 RTX 2080 Ti, starting at $499, available in October. Amazing ray tracing games are coming. Activision and developer Treyarch are launching a new Call of Duty on November 13th. Their dynamic lights, ray tracing, shadows and ambient occlusion, DLSS 2.0, and NVIDIA Reflex super low latency technology. There is clearly a need for a giant GPU that is available all over the world. So we made a giant Ampere. Ladies and gentlemen, the RTX 3090. Alrighty. 3090 is a beast, a ferocious GPU, a BF GPU, 36 shader teraflops, 69 RT teraflops, 285 tensor teraflops, and it comes with a massive 24 gigabytes of G6X. It comes with a silencer, a three slot dual axle flow through design, 10 times quieter and keeps the GPU 30 degrees cooler than the Titan RTX design. But there's more. The 3090 is so big that for the very first time, we can play games at 60 frames per second in 8K. This is insane. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh my God. The resolution on this is silliness. These are the sizzle reels that you see. Once the holy grail of computer graphics, ray tracing is now the standard. 